good? What's going on, everyone? How y'all feeling? I'm feeling good. Welcome back to another great episode of Simone with the Spazzards. I'm Simone, bringing you guys the daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here, you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, stop what you're doing and like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to your girl. Also, turn your notification bells because the video is coming like boom, 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 and you don't want to miss it. Also, guys, make sure you check out the link in my description box down below to buy me a coffee to help fuel the channel. You think all this energy just be coming from where? Where do you think this energy be coming from? Shout out to you guys who's bought me coffee so far. I really appreciate you guys. If you haven't bought me a coffee yet, go ahead and do that. Also, check out my links down below to subscribe to our podcast, Tough Calls, where me and Dylan have some of your favorite sports analysts, some of your favorite former and current athletes. Chop it up with us on the pod. So don't miss out on any of that conversation. Guys, we got to talk. I got to get all that junk out just to talk to y'all about what I really want to talk about. Because y'all know y'all my people. And this video, obviously draft video, but I got to get this off my chest. It's burning on my chest, guys. Russell Wilson, what the heck, boy? If you don't relax, like, uh, I can't even get into Russell Wilson because it'll be a whole video. But just to update you guys, if you haven't heard already, Russell Wilson and the Seahawks are talking about maybe possibly trading Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson talking about the only teams he would be interested in is... The Cowboys, the Saints, the Raiders, or the Bears, if a trade was considered. The Cowboys, y'all. The Cowboys, Russell Wilson, and the freaking Dallas. Oh, my heart would break. That NC State Wolfpack boy in them ugly colors. Ooh, I'll be pissed. <sighs> Russ, do you hear me? Are you listening to me, Russ? Russ, Russ. Moan to Russ, moan to Russ. Russell, you got a great thing going in Seattle. Seattle is one of the only consistent teams in the NFL as of late. You have been in the playoffs consistently. You've been in the Super Bowl back-to-back. Don't leave that Cadillac for something that might be better. You in a great situation. Great situations come few and far between. Don't gamble with that to go to a maybe good situation. Don't play like that, Russ. Don't play like that. There's only five teams in the NFL that have been consistently stable, in my mind, consistently consistent over the past couple of years the Steelers the Seattle Seahawks consistently always gonna be in the playoffs the Green Bay Packers the New Orleans Saints and now of course as of late the Kansas City Chiefs but it hasn't always been like that in my years so Russ stop playing with fire you better ask them to get you some pieces add some pieces but don't get a trade because you won't go to another you go to another franchise don't know what the heck they got going on a franchise that hasn't even been consistent over the last couple of years don't play with fire now i know sierra is from texas <sighs> let me talk about what i'm here to talk about guys sorry 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 but that news just coming in on my phone y'all and i'm just like my head spinning but let me focus be a professional talk what i'm here to talk about mel kuyper jr has put out his mock draft with trades Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. He doesn't have the Eagles trading in his first mock draft with trades. And now, mind you, Mel Kuyper has said, I don't like doing mock drafts with trades because, you know, it could go a billion different ways. But you know what? I'm Mel and I got to give the people what they want. And they want me to do a mock draft with trades. So here, here, here's a mock draft with trades. He didn't have us trading, but he did have us not going quarterback. And that was the biggest takeaway that I got for this video. Mel Kuyper Jr. says that we're going Jamar Chase number six. And this is what he says. After trading away Carson Wentz, 2020 second round pick, Jalen Hurst tops the Eagles quarterback's depth chart. And my feeling is that he has earned a chance to, to start in week one next season and try to be Philly's long-term answer, even though he just completed 52% of his passes last season. The Eagles have major salary cap issues, and this is not going to be a one-year rebuilding for new coach Nick Sirianni. I wouldn't be surprised if they're picking in the top 10 next year. Mel! Dag, Mel! Mel think we're going to be picking in the top 10 next year. You know how trash... He think we're going to be trash again next year. Hashtag, have some respect. Because listen, y'all. I don't care what y'all thinking. We finna be trash. We not finna be trash. Not with me. Not if I got something to say. Let me tell y'all. Mel. And whoever thinks this is going to be... We going to be at 500 next season. Point blank. Period. Don't play with us. Hashtag that out below. Don't play with us, Mel. I don't like that, Mel. We not picking top 10. I put that on my word, and my word is bond. 
that just had me pissed. Drafting Chase here will allow a better evaluation of Hurts in 2021. He's a true number one wideout with a high ceiling. After opting out, of, opting out of the 2020 season, Chase will get a chance to work out for teams at LSU's Pro Day on March 31st, and there's a chance he could wow scouts and coaches there and end up as the number one receiver in this class. He also stated that the Eagles selecting Chase will be the first step in what he feels like is a long rebuilding process. So, Mel Kuyper Jr., even though he disrespected us and said we're going to be picking up top 10 next season, has some respect, Mel. He believes that Jalen Hurst is our long-term answer, and he doesn't think we're going to go quarterback first round. What do you guys think? I know you guys think half of you guys are like, Jalen ready. He ready. He ready. Throw him out there. Throw him out. Week one. Let's go. Let's get it. Half of y'all think, ooh, Jalen might not be ready. Let's see what he doing. Kim, mm, you know, maybe we should get like Tyrod Taylor and let him kind of compete with Tyrod. And then there's some of you like, just draft Zach Wilson. Draft Zach Wilson. Trey Hurts. It's like three people. Three different groups of people. So let me know what group you're in down below. But Mel thinks Jalen is going to be our long-term answer. And I think Jalen definitely has the potential to be our long-term answer. Of course, we still have to sign a vet behind him because he's the only quarterback on our contract for the Eagles right now. Nate is an um, unrestricted free agent. Jalen's the only one on contract with his rookie deal. So I do think Jalen has all the capabilities to be our the Eagles' long-term quarterback. We just got to make sure that he's getting the right development and getting the right pieces around him, of course, which means getting that old line correct and also getting some pieces around him. So don't be surprised if the Eagles don't draft a quarterback. I'm, 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 I won't be surprised if we draft one. I won't be surprised if we don't just because of who's at the helm of all this is Howie Roseman. And we know how he thinks. So if we had a, a real GM with a real brain, then I would be like, I already know we're not drafting a quarterback. But who knows what in the heck? freaking Howie Roseman would do like it's Howie Roseman but Mel saying we're not going out like that we're not going out with a quarterback we're going with Jalen Hurst let me know what you guys think Jalen Hurst the long term answer what you think but in the meantime be on the lookout for some vlogs for me because I'm going to be giving you guys some more vlogs some more behind the scenes of what I do in my life outside of YouTube, but still sports related because I'm someone with the Spizzoids. So I'm about to give you guys some behind the scenes look of my sports reporting life, my sports journalist life, and letting you guys just see me out in the field doing what I do, do what I do, do. So coming up next is going to be um, some baseball vlogs, like me out covering baseball baseball vlogs also it's going to be some vlogs on the elite 11 the elite 11 is the high school the top high school recruits um basically their combine a lot of you know lsu commit not lsu commits a lot of sec commits a lot of acc commits um a lot of guys who are be playing you know probably for the eagles in the future a lot of guys who are you know top of their class and pretty much all of them are committed but some of them aren't so some behind the scenes look of that and also some ACC tournament of course so that's kind of like the big stuff that I got coming up um also basketball season the travel basketball season starts in March and your girl gonna be doing play-by-play -play broadcasting so I'm gonna give you guys some behind the scenes of me doing play-by-play -play. it's gonna be my first time doing play-by-play -play. my long-term goal is to be like a color analyst um or you know dabble in play-by-play -play, but be a broadcaster um, during the games, so it's my first time getting experience broadcasting, doing play-by-play. -play. Um, so I'm super duper excited. So I'm gonna give you guys some behind-the-scenes looks so you can follow me along on my journey because you guys know I'm taking over this thing, point and blank and period. So make sure you like this video, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in my vlogs. Bye. <laughs>